You ready for this little pumpkin? Ready. Ready, Freddy. Oh. Hi, um, this is Jenna, my lovely student and amazing friend, and I am Alicia. We're gonna teach you a little beginner basics, sort of gentle bowspring beginnings. <laughs> um, that's it. So we'll, f we'll find a tall seat. Let's start seated um, in, come face me. Yeah, come face me so you're ready to move. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so find a tall seat and on your knees here, oh, take your hands to your bum, lift the cheeks out from underneath of you to accentuate the lower lumbar moving in. And find a taller seat, top of the feet, gently pressing down, subtle drag back energy for that tiny low activation into the inner ankle. Dome hands, like little spider domes to the tops of the thighs, soft fingers, and using the tip of the nail as point of contact sensitivity to lift the heart, lift the chin, and allow the eyes to shut. And just find a grounding quality here. Big belly breathing, fluid. Inhale into the exhale. And watching your breath. So taking note of the quality of each inhale and each exhale. Notice the quality of your energy. Take a little scan of your body and see how it feels. Bring focus to your rib cage and find a circumferential expansion. I was thinking of like an orb living in the center of your chest that is your heart and feel it begin to radiate outwards, all sides expanding evenly. And then take focus of your belly and could you lengthen it a little bit more, find a rising quality rib cage lifts up away. And could you gently press the back of your head into an imaginary hand, lift the chin up a little bit more and find that first fullness, that open posturing here. One more big full inhale. Deep exhale. Allow the eyes to open and take two seeds forward and just moving in a seaweed sway. So could you just feel the ribs glide side to side? Maybe dropping an ear to shoulder to rise up through the opposite ribs. Hips tack back. Belly stays open, chin lifted. Just finding that organic serpentine fluid move, movement of the, of the belly, of the ribs, of the spine. And then find some stillness and take two seeds, reach them forward, really find the fullness in the back heart. Tack the hips back, long belly begins to move forward and then taking two domes down to the mat, keeping full through the back heart. Dome slide back to bright. Maybe take the block away. I'll take the block away. Moving the block to the side. Okay, so all fours. <clears throat> Hands as wide as the mat or as wide as your shoulders, whatever makes more sense. Elbows externally rotated, searching for a little hollow in the pocket of the elbow eye. Arms push strong, inflate the back ribs. So looking for the fullness in the back. Can you show the opposite? A deflation, we don't want that. So strong push of the mat away and a fullness in the back of the heart, feeling um, all sides of the rib cage expanding. Elbows check back in. Top of the feet, here are them. So top of the foot digs down and drags back. So finding a low hollow in the ankle for that heroed ankle. And then using that, that foot to drag the hips back a little bit more, find more length in the belly. Yeah, more hollows in the groins and spring loads. So sit the hips back and then reach the ribs forward. Awesome. Hips pulse back, ribs pull forward. 
As the ribs pull forward, can the hands gently drag back to learn and start to sense into the tone and length of the belly. Top of the feet, use them to drag the hips back. Lengthen the belly, keep strong push of the mat away, inflate back ribs. And then find some stillness in the center. Hips a little bit back. Lengthened belly, fullness in the back of the heart. Shift the weight to the left side. Pick up right knee. Open leg to the side. Dome right fingertips. So this knee stays narrow and in the side plane. We don't have to lift it up super high. It can stay kind of low. And this right hand, so light on the fingertips. Little spider dome, you could twinkle the fingers. Left arm pushes so strong, search for a hollowing action in the left armpit. Hips moving back and wide towards left heel. Open the belly and lift the chin. <clears throat> Energetically, the right knee hugs forward. One more full inhale. Exhale, lower down. Set up the base, arms push strong, inflate the back ribs, top of the foot digs down and drags back for the heroed ankle. Hips drag back just a little bit, lengthen the belly. Shift the weight to the right, pick up left knee. Knee stays narrow in the side plane, so we don't take it back behind us. The knee stays towards the belly. Hips move back and wide towards right heel. Soft belly bows left. Strong push of the mat away with the right hand to find that hollowing action in the armpit and dome left fingertips. Dome hand so light like a little spider and the fingers soft, not weight bearing. Chins lifted out of the throat and take focus into the back heart. Keep the back, yeah, inflated. One more full inhale. <clears throat> Exhale, lower down. And take some barrel rolls, big circular motions of the rib cage. And then switch your roll, other direction. And then find some stillness. Arms push strong, sit the hips back, tuck the toes, lift up, crouching cat. <clears throat> so hands as wide as the mat, they didn't move. Pause, maybe a little bit um, maybe as wide as your mat, maybe a tiny bit more narrow. Pause, root down. So we want more paw on the mat. Pause, push down and out to the side. Heels drag back to extend the posterior chain. We keep a nice big bend into the knee and the knees hug external in line with the ankles. Hips moving back and wide behind you. Heart full. We have a nice slant in the arm so it's not a straight stack of the shoulder over top of the wrist so that we have um, less weight fully stacked on the on the wrist and the belly is soft find a couple of bends and extends sit the hips back and reach the ribs forward and keep elbows externally rotated forward and strong push of the mat away inflate back ribs bending into the knees hips drag back ribs pull forward with each extension as the ribs pull forward pull the heels back extend posterior chain Okay. externally rotate the left hand twist your cat right toes to the right knees to the right hips sit back towards the heels left ear drops towards left shoulder rise up through your ribs a bend and extend through the legs hips sit low and then bend extend back up hips drag back belly bows right ear to shoulder lift ribs <clears throat> and take one more pulse these hands dome, yeah. And then coming back through center. Heart forward, strong push of the mat away. Set up your base, fullness in the back. Pause rooted, pushing down and out to the side. Externally rotate the right hand, twist your cat left. Toes left, knees left, left. Sit the hips back towards the heels. Right ear to right shoulder, rise up through your left ribs. Dome, left fingertips. Find a pulse, bending and extending through the legs. Hips pull back towards the right, belly softly bows to the left. Ear to shoulder allows you to lift more through the left ribs. Lift the chin out of the throat, eyes towards your left fingertips. 
one more pulse and then come back through center we'll walk the feet wide yeah and root down the paws you're gonna move with the hips back so root them back and then maybe dome the hands walk them back mm -hmm. and then rise all the way up with an open belly two seeds forward into a seaweed sway Pause, rooted, hips back, knees forward, chin lifted, throat open. Cool. And then let's step onto the mat. Beautiful. So stepping with the paw touches down to heel, paw to heel. Root down through the paws. So paws, toe pads and mounds. Big toe, gentle button press down and hook back. Heels hug to the midline, knees bend forward and the hips glide back. Find length and lift through the belly, fullness in the whole rib cage, push two seeds forward. Really broaden through the back heart, lift the chin and then sweep the hands back into ecstasy. Couple of springs through the center, sit the hips low, pause rooted, pushing down and out, and then forearms rise up, lengthen the belly. And just taking nice, slow, mindful movements. Pause, stay rooted. Knees hug external. Keep your hollows in the um, inner ankle, back of the knee, in the groin. Long belly, fullness in the whole rib cage, all sides expanding circumferentially. Head gently pressing back into the hand, opening the throat and opening the belly. So, and then rise up through the middle and arch over to the right. Crescent to the right, hips pulse back, belly softly bows forward, rising up through the torso to arch over. Finding length on the right side, lifting up through the left side. Head presses back into the hand, head stays in line with the heart. And take your right hand to the top of right thigh. Use this point of contact to push the thigh away, keep space in right side. And Jenna's got a seed, also horseshoe holds would be nice. Hips back, soft belly bows, head presses back into the hand, pick up underneath the left armpit. One more pulse here. And then coming back nice and slow to hands ecstasy, cups behind the head. Head presses back into the hand, throat opens, belly opens, find a spring through the center, sit low, hips back, rise up with the ribs, lengthen the belly, forearms up towards the sky. Soft, mindful, full movements, whole rib cage expanding, opening not just the front heart sides, but also back. And then sit low, hips back, rise through center, arch over to the left. Hips pulse back, belly bows forward, rising up, big lift, arch over. Keep space on the left side. Keep a rise through the place underneath the right armpit, those ribs, lift them up. Hips tack back, knees hug external. And then take left hand to the top of the thigh left thigh use the point of contact to push more space into the left side so it's the literal push of the thigh down to keep length openness in the left hips back rising up through your right ribs head presses back into the hand the road opens belly opens and then coming back through center Two hands, domes to the tops of the thighs, and just find a pause, hips back, open belly. And reach two seeds forward, and then two seeds connect. So index fingers, the second knuckle, connects together. Hands low down by the belly, elbows push forward, lift the chin. Shift the weight to the left, hover the right heel. Dig paw forward, sends the hips back. Drag the paw back, engages the back line of the leg. Pick up the foot, hold the engagement with an 
uh, hero foot, inner ankle, squinch, soft top paw. Gentle hinge at the hips, takes your torso forward just a little bit. Keep right knee forward, hips moving back and wide. Now pulse up and down on the standing leg. Keep connect, left toes, hips back and wide, long belly, elbows pushing forward, lifted chin. Now find some stillness with your left leg. Little bicycle pedal with the right. Find a resisted pedal like a hamstring hugging towards the bum kind of pedal. Can you get your right glute to engage? And then find some stillness and plant right paw down so mindfully. Switching sides, bend into the knees, knees forward, hips back, paws rooted. Shift weight to the right, hover left heel. Dig paw forward, sends hips back. Drag the paw back, engage as the back line of the leg. Hold engagement with a heroed ankle, picking up the foot, soft top paw, inner ankle squinch. A little hinge at the hips takes the torso forward just a little bit. Hips moving back and wide behind you. Hamstring hug energy, heel to the bum and then pulse up and down on the standing leg. Keep connect, right toes, long belly, lifted chin. Fullness in the whole rib cage. Think about the back heart expanding, rising up from behind. And then find some stillness, little bicycle pedal with that left leg. A resisted sticky pedal like um, pedaling through honey or cold honey. Awesome. And then step the left foot down mindfully, paw touches down. Yeah, yeah. Step wide, step wide. Take a deep squat, move the hips way back, long open belly. And then take horseshoe hold to the top of the thighs. Micro bends in the elbows, lifted quality through the ribs, long belly, lifted chin, shoulder dips right, shoulder dips left, hips move back and wide behind you. Left shoulder dips right, hips move back and wide behind you. Right shoulder dips left, hips move back and wide behind you. Left shoulder moves right, hips move back and wide behind you. Then coming back through center, lift heart high, arms reach forward, hopping practice. Hover the heels just the tiniest little bit. Keep the heels hovered. We're going to practice hopping with not letting the heels touch down and landing with a springiness, a, a, a spring, spring quality in the body. Keep the heart full and the chin lifted. Hop the feet together. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Hop the feet apart. Yeah. Hop the feet together. Hop forward two feet. Hop back two feet. Hop wide and together. Hop two feet to the right. Hop two feet to the left. Hop two feet to the left. Hop two feet to the right. Hop wide and together. Hop forward, hop back. Hop wide, hop together and land. Little domes to the tops of the thighs and just find your, um, find your pulse. Little little glide of your rib side to side feels nice. Maybe little circles of the ribs feels nice. I like to move my ribs all the time. Okay. So, take two seats, connect. Hands low down by the belly. Elbows push forward, lifted chin, fullness in the whole rib cage. Knees forward, hips back. Shift weight to the left, dig, drag right, pick up the foot, hero the ankle. Propeller pose, hinge at hips, takes the torso forward. More hamstring hug, heel back towards the bum. Mm -hmm. And coming more forward, more forward, more forward. Mm -hmm. Hips move back and wide. One more full inhale. Exhale, take two seeds forward. Reach them forward and long and then rise your torso high. Cross your right ankle over top of left thigh. Cross ankle squat. 
Knee stays narrow while you sit low into your seat. Hips move down and then glide back. Arms reach them, fill the back heart, pump them down, lift ribs high, and then place two seeds to the tops of the thighs. Arms push strong, lengthen the belly. It's like you're sitting in a seat in a chair perhaps, but you are the chair. So sitting back and wide, keeping the heart high, lifted chin, fullness in the whole rib cage. Root down through the left toes. One more big full inhale. Exhale, cross your right leg all the way over. Phoenix kickstand legs, but changing it up. So knees move forward, hips move back. Take your hands to your bum, widen widen and spread lift up and then take domes down walk them down the thighs dig drag pause back hips moving back and wide long belly mm -hmm. toes stay rooted so we can keep our bowstring here and also work into our hamstrings and our IT bands Knees squish forward, hips move back, long belly, fullness in the back heart. One more big full inhale. Exhale, rise the heart high, step your right foot to the side. Walk forward two steps. Walk back two steps. Walk forward. So, so <clears throat> walking, right? <laughs> when we walk, we've been conditioned through our footwear, whatever, etc., to heel to toe, heel to toe. When we walk that way, we lose connection into our posterior chain. So, becoming more mindful to walk with a paw touch down, walk paw touch down. In this way, we walk slower. We walk more mindfully. We have to walk slower. Have you tried walking fast? And you have to hop if you're hopping on your feet to walk fast in the paw. So paw touches down. Dig drags when we land. Keep posterior chain engaged. Hips back, open belly, lifted chin. And then walk back, walk back. Cool. And then let's stay and come forward just a little bit, yeah. Okay. So two seeds connect. Hover right heel. Dig drag. Picks up the foot. Hold hero ankle. Bend into your left knee and send the hips back and wide behind you. Belly bows forward. And you carry the right foot back. Super light land. Paw touches down. Tribal lunge. Cool. So left foot faces straight forward, right foot angles up top right hand corner of the mat. Right knee also angling up on that narrowing action. Sit into your seat, move the hips back, set up side coil. Left seed to the inseam of left knee. Right arm reaches along to the side. Take a big full inhale. Use that to inflate the back ribs and then sweep the hand back into ecstasy. Side coil pose. Dig, drag, right paw back, reach the elbow forward. Hips pull down and back behind you. Reach elbow forward, bow belly to the right. Back heel hovered, finding so much space, so much length all along the right side. Can you use a little resist quality right seed into the thigh? Toes rooted. One more pulse. Hips back, belly bows, reach the elbow so far and long. Awesome. And then take two seeds and reach them forward. We're gonna take a little pulse into open leg, so balance. Right arm, or sorry, left arm stretches forward in a seed hand. Little pounce, right knee connects to right seed. Keep this knee narrow. So the hips have an opportunity to stay wide. Knee is forward, resist seed to knee, hips back, open belly, 
reaching far and long like you're flying, standing leg bent, rooted toes, hero right ankle, chin lifted, long belly, fullness in the rib cage, and then release, step right foot down. Take a pause, domes to the thighs. And then switching sides. So root down through right side, hover left heel. Two seeds connect. Seeds low and forward. Yeah, broadening through back heart. Hovered heel, dig, drag, picks up the foot. Propeller pose, hamstring hug, heels to the bum. Hinge at the torso so that the torso begins to face more parallel to the ground. Hamstring hug, heel, bum. Elbows reaching forward, lifted chin. Hey, one more full inhale. Exhale, two seeds reach forward, rise your torso high. Take left ankle, cross over top of right thigh, cross ankle squat. Knee stays narrow while you sit low into your seat and glide the hips back. Arms, push them forward, find hollows in your armpits, yeah, yeah. And then push down to lift the ribs high. Place two seeds to the base of the thighs. Arms push strong, pushing the thighs away to lift length into the belly, ribs rise. Left foot hero and fiesta faces straight down to the ground, sitting into your seat, hips move back and wide behind you. It's like you are sitting in a chair, but you are your own chair. You can find a resisted quality, ankle into thigh, thigh back into ankle, lifted chin, rising energy. So whole torso rising even through the crown of the head as the hips move down and back. One more full inhale. Exhale, cross your leg all the way over. Phoenix kickstand legs, knees squish forward. Hips move back. You can take your hands to your bum and widen, spread wide, lift up. And then keeping a long belly, begin to creep dome hands down the base of your thighs. Long belly, no, no curvature in the lower spine. So keep the dip, keep your, keep your lower lumbar curve. No opposite curvature is what I meant. No like C curve. So long belly, fullness in back heart. Pause, you can use your toes here pretty strongly. If you activate them, little dig drag, you're gonna really feel the fierceness in your hamstrings in your IT band. One more big full inhale. Exhale, lift your heart high. And step left foot to the side. Knees bend forward, hips move back, two seats connect. Shift weight to the right, dig drag left, picks up the foot, hero ankle. Bend into the right knee and move the hips back and wide behind you, belly bows forward, elbows reaching forward, broaden through back heart. Slowly, mindfully, stepping the left foot back, set up a tribal lunge. So, Right foot faces straight forward, left foot angles up top left hand corner of the mat and the knee also in line with the foot. Front foot bisects back foot. Bend into your knees, stance is a little short here so you can bend into your knees and then glide the hips back. Right seed connects to the inseam of right knee, set up side coil, right arm reaches, uh, left arm reaches long to the side, big full inhale, inflates back ribs and then sweep the hand back into ecstasy. Back heel hovers, dig drag paw down that energy like you're taking off for a race as you reach the elbow forward. Hips pulse back and wide, belly bows to the left, head presses back into the hand, open the throat, open the belly. Elbow reaching forward and long. You can find a resisted quality right seed to the inseam of right knee. Toes stay rooted, hips move back. Long belly rising up through the place underneath your left armpit. One more pulse. 
and then take two seats forward. Inflate back ribs, set yourself up, right arm stretching forward, left arm out to the side, ready to catch your left knee. Take a little spring, connect left seed to left knee. Knee stays narrow in the side plane, hips move back and wide, belly lengthens and bows forward, lift the chin and fly. Standing leg stays bent, toes stay rooted, hero left foot, fiesta foot. Hips moving back, long belly, flying, one more full inhale. Exhale, place the foot down. Step wide, step wide. Take a deep squat, hips move back, horseshoe hold, hands to the tops of the thighs and just glide the legs side to side. Keeping micro bends in the knees, keep the toes rooted down, hips back, long open belly, fullness in the rib cage. Hey. And then coming to center. Hips move way back and wide, deep squat. Two domes make their way down to the mat. Dome, side back to right, step back, step back, crouching cat. Elbows externally rotated, strong push of the mat away. Paws rooted, pushing down and out to the side. A couple of springs through the middle, hips sit back and the ribs pull forward. Okay, narrow the knees, lower the knees, come down to all fours. Awesome. Strong push of the mat away, elbows externally rotated, hips drag back by rooting of the dig drag, top paw pulls the hips back. Awesome. Shift the weight to the left, pick up the right knee, open leg, dome right fingertips. Move the hips more back towards the left heel and then place your right foot to the mat. Um, I guess it's in line with the knee. Yeah, you can take it a little bit wider, maybe a little bit further away, yeah. And then just humble kitty, ear to shoulder, rise through ribs, option, take left, what is right hand ecstasy. I'm just finding an openness, hips pulse back gently, belly bows to the right, head presses back into the hand, rise through ribs. Awesome. And then sit the hips back and take your right knee back, right hand down to the mat. Couple of spring loads through the center, hips sit back, ribs pull forward. Okay, and then shifting to the other side, shift the weight to the right, pick up left knee, open leg. Strong push of the mat away, inflate your back ribs, look for that hollow underneath the right armpit. And then take, um, Take your left foot, plant it to the mat, kind of in line, maybe just a little ahead of your right knee, and out to the side, humble kitty. Right ear can cascade towards right shoulder, ecstasy the left hand, catch behind the head, elbow hugs into the cheek. Reaching the elbow far and long, head presses back into the hand, and we begin to peel the belly open. One more pulse. And coming back through center. Okay. Walk the knees back and walk the hands wide. Panther prep. So hands off of the mat and facing forward. Heels, hamstring hug towards the bum. Hips up in the, uh, booty up in the air. So super hollows in the groins, long belly. Searching for length and tone in the belly, keeping your hamstring hug alive. Let's come down halfway, elbows pull out to the side, nice and slow, keeping space between shoulder plates and then lift back up. A pose that less is more, keep the hamstring hug, heels to the bum, elbows pull apart to lower down. Searching for length and tone in the belly, crown of the head reaches forward. 
Let's do two more. And then last one. And then coming all the way down onto the belly, nice and slow. <clears throat> and walk the knees back a little. Yeah, and you can just windshield wiper your knees back and forth. Tommy time. <laughs> okay. And coming up how we came in, take your hands wide. Root into the knees and use the hips to pull yourself back, find fullness in the back rib cage, rise up, whoosh, yeah. And then hands walk back onto the mat. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, crouching cat. Twist your cat to the right to lower your left hip down. Awesome, reach your left arm along, lie onto your side. And allow your right knee to fall over top of the left, so just ahead of it. Yeah. Hips moving back behind the heart. <clears throat> and then reach two seeds and just allow the head to drop off of the bicep. Arms can just open up towards the sky. So twisted baby. Arms pushing space into the shoulder blades, chin lifted. I realize that I do this in bed when I'm waking up. <laughs> yeah, twisted Alicia. But then I was like, it's like natural. And then take your left arm back long. And take your right forearm forward. Mm -hmm. So sphinx arms press up to forearms to the front of the mat. And keep your, nope, come, come back. Oh. Yeah, stay in the twist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So forearms press down and we fill right here. Yeah, this guy. And then elbows energetically drag back towards the knees. You can find little hollow in the outer wrist. Have you done this one? I think we did it yesterday. Maybe we did it yesterday, yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, this one's twisty. Yeah, I love it, one. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is like getting to be a top favorite one of mine. Yesterday I went from, I'll tell you later. <laughs> okay, extend your left arm long. To lie onto your side, you can allow the head to roll off onto the bicep, arms up to the sky, roll onto the back, and shimmy onto your back onto the mat. And catch knees, freedom pose when you land. Knees pulling heavy as you cup them, heels energetically dragging back towards um, the mat, long belly, lifted chin. Yeah, yeah. And then take the knees into the air to 90 degree, arms into the sky, two seeds, and move the knees away as you reach the arms back, lengthen, tone the belly, and then lift it back up. And so searching for the stretch, the tautness of the belly, little core, just a little pause in the middle for some lengthening and toning of the belly. Heroed ankles, and keeping your hollows in the inner ankle, in the back of the knee, in the groins. Arms pushing strong, chin lifted, belly gets long. Okay, and then catch your knees, freedom pose. And then take your right arm long, lie onto your side, side bow. Shift the hips back behind the heart a little more, yeah. 
Find lightness underneath the right ribs and then allow the left leg to just drape over top of the, like it just falls forward of the left, of the right. And then take your seeds and reach them forward to open your heart up towards the sky. Gentle twist, baby style. In my first yoga training, I there was two aspects to it. There was vinyasa, which was why I was there. And there was self-awakening yoga. So I did it at Nosara Yoga Institute. And the self-awakening yoga, I just couldn't stand at that point in my life. It was very like taking yourself, regressing from baby and going through all the movements that you would do as a baby to move yourself into adult life. So it was like rolling on your back and it was a very eccentric in my, it was just, yeah, out of my comfort zone at that point in my yoga career. But now I think I should go back into those books. <laughs> I'm like, like that is probably more in alignment of what I, where I've moved towards that um, primal. primal, moving back to the places that we began. Mm -hmm but my fire side didn't want any of that <laughs> at that point. Okay, and then coming back, take your right arm, reach it long, and then <laughs> plant left forearm to the ground in front of you, and lift up two forearms forward, sphinx arms, and using the forearms to push, push light, put br push bright into the back ribs, elbows energetically drag back towards the knees. Kind of same action as a falcon. Yeah, I was just thinking about that, that I should probably go into my storage and revisit those books and see what they were talking about because I had no space for it then. It's amazing how you can change. <laughs> yeah. Well, this practice is so fire, you need some balance. Yeah. Well, there is very soft aspects to it as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then take your arm, reach it long to lie back onto your side, to lie onto your back. And catch your knees, freedom pose. And then interlace your, take your left foot just to be, land behind your left sits bones and right hand can interlace behind right thigh, thigh root pose. Allow the thigh to pull heavy away from you so the arms pull straight, keep micro bends in your elbows. And hero and fiesta the foot, extend the leg up to the sky. So hero foot, inner ankle squinch, soft top paw, fiesta, little external rotation of a hero foot. Chin stays lifted, throat stays open, and the objective is not to get your knee towards your belly. The objective is to keep a long, open belly and maintain your spinal alignment. Thigh root pose, the idea of rooting femur into hip socket. Heel can energetically pull up to push up towards the sky. If you want, you can carry your right leg over towards the left just a little bit. Feels nice into the IT band. And release the interlace, cross right ankle over top of left thigh. Pull in to catch your shin. Left knee up at a 90 degree. Hero both feet. And so allowing the shin to pull heavy away from you so the arms pull long, belly stays long, chin stays lifted. You can find like a little resist ankle into thigh, thigh back into ankle. And then release your shin and take left foot back down to the mat and allow for a twist, legs fall to the right. <clears throat> I'm playing with, take your left hand chin up mm -hmm. and right hand can catch outside edge of left elbow and resist the elbow away from the hand.
Mm -hmm. More length. Do you like it? Yeah, it's... More in the core. Yeah. Mm -hmm. More in the side and core. Mm -hmm. Okay. Inhale, engage your core, rise back through center. Uncross your legs, catch freedom, little rock side to side. And then release your right foot down to the mat, interlace hands behind the left thigh, thigh root pose, other side. Allow the thigh to pull heavy away from you so the arms pull long, little micro bends in your elbows. Lifted chin by pressing head back into the mat, open the throat. Hero Fiesta, the foot, extend leg up towards the sky, heel energetically reaching for the sky. And if you want to, you can carry the left leg over to the right a little, and just so that you feel that nice little stretch into the IT band feels good. And then coming back up through center and cross, um, release the, the interlace and cross your left ankle over top of right thigh. Pull in to catch the shin. Right knee lifted at a 90 degree, both feet hero. Arms pull long so the belly stays long. Rooted hips, lower lumbar moving in, fullness in the shoulder blades, lifted chin. your interlace and take your right foot down to the ground and easy twist legs fall left same option with the same same thing with the arm so right arm finds a little dome back behind you left hand catches outside edge of the right elbow and then just resist gently you find a broadening action through the shoulder blades into the sidelines and into the belly And then release that, inhale, engage core to rise back up through center. Catch your knees one more time, freedom pose. And then extend your legs long. Take your hands to your bum, spread your cheeks. Lie a little bit more lovely, big bear hug, grabs for opposite shoulders to spread them. And then you can take your hands out to the or arms out to the side, palms face up or down. Press the back of the head into the mat, lift up the chin, take a big full inhale. Exhale, let's it go. And just be soft for as long as you have. Sometimes ending um, a little practice in meditation is nice. When the body feels good, the mind can feel good and calm as well. And that is all she wrote. Thank you, my love. Thank you. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs>